Thanks for coming to the channel today. I am going to look at this Big Horn by Heartland. I believe it's at 3120 RK, but we will verify when we get along the side. As we make the approach, you can see it has a Lippard Rotor Flex hitch, upgraded hitch. It has LED lights along the front. Your auto leveling is right underneath. As we look underneath, here's an easy reel. Large front compartment. The bottom compartment is configured and ready for a generator to accept it. Over here in this compartment is your hydraulics. All your hydraulics and your batteries. Okay, as we look down the side, you can see there are two slide outs. The front one is cable driven and the rear one is a through frame rack, through frame or a rack and pinion style slide out me mechanism. Let's take a look at the numbers. As you can see, we have 16,500 pounds for the gross vehicle weight rating. We have twin axles on here with 7,000 pound rating for each axle. There's the tire size, there are 16s, ST235R or 80Rs. Let's take a look at the front compartment. It is on hydraulic struts. And you can see this is a massive pass-through storage area. There is a light here. It is not motion sensored. Here's our water board. Everything passes through the hole. There's our gray tank and a wastewater tank. Hot water bypass. There is a water filter in place. 12 gallon hot water heater. We have six point leveling system, hydraulic leveling system. Here's our discharge, low point drains. The two axles, and I believe it's pre 3000. Frameless windows. Big window. Let's head around towards the back. In this compartment, we have another gray tank discharge handle. Here's our power cord. It is a 50 amp service. LED lights, marker lights. As you look at the back of the unit, there's LED brake lamps, LED marker lights at the top. It is pre-wired for our backup camera or a ladder for the walk on roof. We have a hitch. This is a 300 pound capacity hitch. So it's good for bicycles or a little luggage rack. As you look down the passenger side, this rear slide out is a through axle or rack and pinion. Again, more of our frameless windows continue around. This compartment is a outside kitchen, gives you a small drink refrigerator, 
really small two burner stovetop, some storage. As we check the front, this is the other side of that pass through storage. It's also another location for the leveling system. And you see it is heated in here. You can put an outside television here. This is the other propane tank. As we look down the passenger side, you can see that there is a nice size awning. I'm going to guess it's 20 feet. It's unobstructed by slide outs, so you can get full use of it. Okay, as we enter, we can see there's solid steps, and we're going into this 3120RK. Okay, as we enter in, we're going to take a look in, and I love the decor of this. Let's take a quick scan around. With this rear kitchen and this contrasting colors in here makes this a beautiful design. That's a nice size television. It has a little sound bar, electric fireplace. It's a Jensen stereo. And this center island is very nice. So it gives you the two chairs, walks around. It gives you a kind of a natural wood feel, like it's a, a live wood countertop. A little bit of storage in here, both doors open on either side. But this is a beautiful layout. Look at the fixtures on here. Everything looks so nice. Four burner stove top, nice size oven, insignia microwave, decent size storage next to the microwave, and above. As you can hear, there are no soft closing doors. Nice size drawer. This would be your pantry. Again, it's a nice size pantry. I love having a separation in these units with having something solid to separate the television, prevent you from getting stuff splashed on the screen and having too much moisture next to it. This is a nice wide countertop for cooking. This farm sink, and the way this is angled in this back corner gives this a lot of space. And I love the look of it. This to color combination is fantastic. Look at all the windows here. Plenty of ventilation when you're cooking or walk doing dishes so I can get distracted. Okay, we have a newer cold refrigerator. It's a massive, and this is a gas electric. Gas electric, There's plenty of size here. Flip up to extend, has two bars under here. That's nice, rather than one, like many of them have. No storage underneath the seats. Nice carpeting, linoleum floor is nice. Get this slides underneath, make room, gives you lots of walking space through here. Two electric recliners. And it has just a room darkening shade. These windows are massive. What a ton of light they'd come in. But if you're trying to watch TV and you got all this light behind you, Gonna be a huge glare, gonna have this shade drawn quite a bit. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. 
you can see there's lots of storage above the television. Storage here. There we go, that's where our, our switches are. Some storage. Ceiling fan. Whisper quiet air conditioning units. Go up into the bath. Some storage here. Storage back in there. Another storage location in that closet. This is a porcelain based toilet foot flush it's a nice size shower with a huge skylight above give you lots of natural light as you can see three pane sliding door and I love this sink faucet look at all this space you can get your hands down here and not make a mess much better than those short faucets And the drawers are stapled and glued, but these are actually wood. Yeah, these are actually wood, plywood. And we have Max Air Fan and the controllers over here. Door is slider, it's a pocket door which is latched here. Your bedroom door is also a pocket door, latched here. As you can see, your dresser is not very deep. You have a television on the wall above the dresser. I like the casing around it, it looks very nice. As you look around, you see the king size bed. And this one has power. And a shelf, probably large enough to hold someone's CPAP if need be. Have charging port for a cell phone or whatever you need. And a shelf on that side and power as well. As we look down, you can see the end cap has a huge closet. Is that a Dyson? It is a Dyson. It's a Dyson vacuum. And this location here is a spot for the washer dryer hookup. That's where your dryer vent would go. This is definitely a stackable spot. Nice port for access to the back of the faucet in the shower. Crappy mattress. There is storage underneath. There's your two spare chairs. As I said before, this drawer is not very good. I'm glad they did wood, but they did a terrible job. You need to change the blade. Put that the other direction, but. I bet you can swap one of these out for a sofa with the flip out bed, as opposed to having two recliners. Oh, and these are rocking recliners. And this would be your view sitting on the recliner, looking over, well, actually you can see right past the countertop to the television. Well, what do you think? Share your opinions with me. I think the decor in here is absolutely gorgeous. 
I have attached the specs and the pricing that I found on some internet searches. And if you happen to have one of these, please share your experience with us as to how you like this unit or dislike this unit. And again, thanks for coming to the channel. I appreciate it. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. And if you like this video, please hit the like button as it helps me out greatly. And again, have a fantastic day.